hello everyone I welcome you all in this particular video in this video we are going to talk about implementation of name entity recognition using bot model in this video i'm going to use a simple transformer if you want to read a simple transformer you can just go to simple transformer.ai and then you can check it out the simple transformer documentation now let's talk about which types of work we can do using a simple transformer so using a simple transformer we can do a text classification token classification question and listening system multi-model classification language generation as well as a name entity recognition i have written down here some of the name from this documentation so you can check it out the documentation okay now let's talk about the implementation part so before uh, going to the implementation part let's try to understand the ner what is name entity recognition so name entity recognition it means let's say if we are going to mention some of the name like my name is shivan kumar i live in bangalore so here whenever we are going to put this sentence to our model we will get a response okay shivan as a name and bangalore is a location so we will get a output like this one geo location so you can see this is the data that we have where i have a sentence word column pure tagging column and the fourth tag column that we have as you can see in the tag that i have o it means others v geo it means geo uh, location and somewhere as you can see b p r it means the person name okay so these are the word that we have now let's talk about the implementation part so let's first of all try to install a simple transformer so simple you can do pip install simple transformer but before this one let's try to change a runtime so you can set a gpu save connect it and after that you can install a your simple transformer using a pip so let's try to run this shell even if you want to read it out uh, NER documentation you can just go to hugging face library and then you can check it out this NER documentation library as well as the same documentation available on Kiraj as well so you can just check it out the Kiraj part as well Kiraj documentation okay so these links are available in a description section so you can check it out the description part okay now our simple transformer installation is completed now let's try to read our data so to read our data we can import a pandas and as you can see here i have a data let me show you file under the drive under the drive that i have one folder entity file intent recognition and under this intent recognition i have this one as you can see the file that i have so i have just copy this path copy and then you can just paste it out here okay so this is the data that i have so let me read this data okay so i'm just reading this data so in this data as you can see we have a total four column okay so i have some path issue so let me check it out why i got the path issue let me click here again and copy the path I'm just changing the path name from here to here okay now let me run now as you can see we have a four columns sentence word pos and tag and tag this is the tag is our target column that we have here now as you can see somewhere under the sentence we have some nan value so I'm going to fill this nan value using a forward fill okay so now let's run this cell and after that i'm going to check the top 20 data top 20 rows so as you can see the whatever the null value that we have is filled with the forward field it means the sentence one okay now i'm going to import a level encoder train test split and the accuracy score why level encoder because i want to encode our data train test split because i am i'm going to divide our data in a training and testing and accuracy for to check the accuracy now here i'm going to use a level encoder on our sentence this is the sentence data that we have sentence column that we have so i'm going to 
do a label encoder on our sentence column after that fit transform i am going to apply on sentence column so let me run this one and after that i am going to check our data top 30 okay so label encoder is not important so let me run the previous cell first now this cell is important now let's try to check the top 30 row so as you can see here whenever we have a sentence one we got one and after that we got this one this value okay so this is the our level encoding part is completed now i'm going to rename the column name so this is the sentence hatch column name that we have so i'm going to rename our column name so sentence hatch to sentence id word to words tag to label because tag is our target column that we have now in place is equal to true so let me run after that i'm going to do a upper case on our label column whatever the target data that we have so i'm going to use a upper case on our target data so as you can see before this one this is the same like a, a small o that we have and after that we got a capital o okay now what i'm doing next after doing this one let me run this one i'm going to split our data in dependent and a independent data so x that i have defined here x and y dependent and independent data in a x i just took the sentence id and words and y as a target data label data that i have taken from here okay after that i'm just going to divide our data in a training and test where i kept a 80 percent of the data for the training and 20 percent of the data for the testing part now i'm going to create a data frame okay i'm going to create a data form for train data and for the test data so as you can see i have just defining the pd dot data frame sentence id where it's kept the data from x train sentence id word x train words and the label as a y train and same i kept the data for x test part as well okay so nothing i'm just creating a data frame because in the same way whenever we can do the bot implementation implementation so the same way but taking a data so that's why we are creating a data frame here now let's try to run this one here and this is the, our train data that we have as you can see the train data sentence id words and the label three things that we have here okay now model training so for the model training i'm going to import a ner model and any arc from where from our simple transformer NER. So let me show you here. Simple transformer NER model. So you can just go to the NER documentation. So here, as you can see, that we have C. O, it means others. PER, it means person. ORG, it means organization name. LCO, it means the location. So these are the tag that we have, okay? And whenever we are going to import a library, as you can see, the model args take as a NER arg, okay? So that's why we have defined here NER model and NER args because we are going to define a args as well, okay? So that's why we have defined here NER args. Now, I'm going to check a unique data in our labels whatever the target data that we have so that's why i define the unique data labels dot unique and the two list i'm just going to define to take each and everything under the list so as you can see this is the geolocation that we have gp person name organization different different thing that we have right eve you can just check it out on google like what is the meaning of ev and all okay now i'm going to define the arg function here as you can see the same way arg function okay and after that I define the training epoch one okay because this is a tutorial so i after this tutorial you can just increase your epoch size four five or ten and then you can check it out your accuracy the learning it that i have defined here one minus four one e minus four after that output directory is a true that i have defined from here same okay now the training batch size 32 and the evaluation batch size is 32 you can play with this variable whatever the variable that i define even that you can play with the training rate learning rate as well okay now let me run this cell 
after that i'm going to okay in here is not defined so before this one i need to run this cell okay now let me run this one now so this is the data that we have right after that i'm going to define a model where i'm just calling model equal to ner model now let me check it out the ner model as well so simple transformer simple transformer ner model from here you can just check it out the model part as you can see the ner model where whatever the model that you are going to define let's say if you are going to define board gpt elmo robot so whatever the model that you are going to define you can define the model under this ner model so same i'm just defining the ner model i'm going to use a bot on case data bot on case data so from here as you can see on hugging face i'm just copy this one bot on case okay but on case and the label i'm going to define the level which level this is the label that we have and args the args whatever the args that i have defined here okay now let's try to run this one okay now let's try to run this one it will take few minutes depends on your system complexity okay level is not defined so i need to run this one first now you can check it out so now it will take few minutes to run each and everything after that we can define our training model okay now so as you can see training part is completed 60% of the part is completed now i'm going to define a train model dot train where i'm going to call a train data and evaluation data so which, what is our train data so train data that we have defined here this is the train data that we have here we have taken the sentence id word and label okay so this is the train data that we have evaluation that we have defined that on the test data based on the test data we can evaluate and accuracy that i have defined on accuracy score because i want to check it out the accuracy as well okay now our training part is started okay it will take a few minutes depends on your system gpu okay now the training is completed so now let's try to check the accuracy and the prediction of our model so I'm going to define here result and the model outputs and the prediction list where I'm going to call a model dot evaluate the model which model whatever the test model that we have defined here this one test model test data okay so same model that I'm going to evaluate so let me run this shell and after that I'm going to check the results of our model so it will take again a few seconds to complete this training now the evaluation part is completed so now try to check it out the results so let me run this cell and as you can see the results evaluation loss is 0 0.17 the precision that we have 0 0.82 recall that we have 0 0.76 and the fn score we have a 0 0.79 so this is the good because we have run this model on epoch one so you can just play with these parameters epochs learning rate the training batch size and the evaluation batch size definitely you will get a better results okay now let's try to check some of the prediction so for the prediction part that i have defined here prediction and the model output that i am going to call apple company and i live in bangalore so le let me write it down something else so myself shivan I lived in Bangalore. Let me run this shell. So this one running is completed. Now let's try to check it out the prediction. So as you can see, my this time he take my as a other self as o Shivan as o others. Everything is others. Bangalore as a geolocation. Okay. So th again, let me write it down something else. So let's write Apple. I live in Bangalore and then we can check it out the prediction so as you can see now this time Apple is taking as a organization we know Apple is an organization again if we write Apple is a good company Apple is a good company now you can check it out Apple is taking as an organization and whatever the other word that we have is taking as a others and Bangalore as a 
जियो लोकेशन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट बॉट गाइज वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन जस्ट प्ले विद डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पारामीटर्स ओके डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट अ बेटर एक्यूरेसी इवन यू विल गेट अ बेटर मॉडल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन जस्ट सेव दिस मॉडल एंड देन यू कैन क्रिएट अ ए पी आई यूजिंग अ फ्लास्क और फास्ट ए पी आई एंड देन यू कैन क्रिएट अ वेब एप्लीकेशन एज वेल सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू मीट इन अनदर वीडियो वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू कम अप विद सम अदर इन टू इन एन एल पी प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग द बर्ड डिस्टिल बर्ड एंड सम अदर शोटा मॉडल पार्ट एज वेल लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और एनी क्वेरी लेट्स शी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू